Hello again, everyone, and welcome to Advanced Vocabulary Quiz Part 10. In this video, you must choose the correct vocabulary word for each question. You may need to pause the video at each question to give yourself some extra time to think of your answers. Are you ready for the challenge? All right, here we go. Number one. And the answer is, Sophia was given an ultimatum by her boss. Either she work harder, or she will lose her job immediately. Now, an ultimatum is a final warning to someone that if they don't do something quickly or take action on something, that there will be consequences. In this case, Sophia, if she didn't work harder, she would lose her job. All right, number two. And the answer is, Megan's low score on her physics exam must have been an aberration because she has always done well in physics before. Now, an aberration is something that's unusual or even something that's unexpected. In this case, because Megan has always done well in physics, this low score is different. You could even say surprisingly different. Okay, number three. And the answer is, Mark was concerned when the customs official beckoned him to his counter for the second time at the airport. All right, to beckon someone is to call them over to you. Usually we do this, in this case, he probably did it with maybe his hand, saying, please come here, or maybe with his finger. Okay, that's to beckon someone. All right, number four. And the answer is, when Annette saw an old picture of her university, she was filled with nostalgia for her college days. Nostalgia is a feeling, let's say, of pleasure and maybe a little bit of sadness when you're thinking about something that happened in the past. And that's the way Annette feels in this example. Okay, number five. And the answer is, I watched the riot on TV last night, and I couldn't believe that the government seemed to condone the police brutality openly displayed in it. Now, to condone something is to approve of something that is usually wrong, and that's what's happening here. The person is suspecting that the government is approving the police brutality that this person is seeing on TV. All right, number six. And the answer is, for some people, potatoes are their main means of sustenance. Sustenance are things like food and water. We can even say the basic needs for animals and humans to survive. Okay, number seven. And the answer is, after four hours of intermittent rain, the soccer match was canceled. Something that's intermittent comes in intervals. It like starts and stops and starts again and stops. And that's what was happening in the soccer match. And then they just canceled it. All right, number eight.
And the answer is, some altruistic young people volunteer to help the people affected by the deadly earthquake. To be altruistic is to, let's say, have a desire to help people, but not worry too much about yourself. For example, people that do charity work, they volunteer their time. They're not selfish. Okay, so we say that is altruistic. All right, number nine. And the answer is, Aaron was famished, having had no food or sleep for 48 hours. Now, famished means to be extremely hungry. And in this case, Aaron hadn't eaten for 48 hours, two days. All right, and that's what famished is. All right, the final question, number 10. And the answer is, I have always loved novels that are anchored in everyday experiences. In this case, anchored means connected to, all right? Think about an anchor in a, in a boat, right? The anchor holds the boat in place. It won't move. It stays there. It's connected to the ground, so it won't move. And that's basically what this is here. You're connected. The novels are connected or even attached to everyday experiences. That's all for this video. Please let me know how you did in the comments section below. Thanks again for subscribing and remember what I always say, keep practicing. See you next time.